Leo, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your reading for the month of July. So happy birthday to the early Leos. All right. I just put out the uh, new moon reading for July the 5th. Um, please check it out. And I'm working diligently on a million things uh, to row Tuesdays. This week was the three of wands. I'm going through the deck one card at a time. It's going to take quite a while. I mean, I might start up, you know, putting up two a week. I'll see. Um, and I just took a little break went to the roof. It's kind of rainy. That's I kind of like it. It's kind of cool and rainy. It's kind of nice. So it's really hot. All right. Let's see what's going on for you for July. Thank goodness I have some new cards. Okay. I have the Empress. Yay, hooray. Ta-da. Right, so this is the Eight of um, Wands. The Eight of Wands is really about fertility and ideas and messages and, you know, coming at you quick. There's an element of fast. And then I have you. Strength. All right. The Empress is the card of Venus. The Empress is about abundance, about creativity, about flow. She's about fertility. She's about being pregnant, right? Pregnant with ideas, with um, opportunity, with um, with joy. I'm getting really joy. Fabulous. <laughs> and here I have coming at, coming at you, abundance, awareness. Then I have this one. This is a really powerful card. So... First of all, both of these have yellow in the background, so it's really full of like light and, and joy and optimism. It's really quite different from the other readings I've been getting. The other readings, it's just a different energy. And um, this is about union of body and mind. This is really about being in your body, being enjoying your body, following your instinct um, that you know comes from spirit, that you know comes from spirit. And, you know, it's like following the things that bring you joy. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah. And not confining yourself. So I was invited this year and it didn't work out. However, I was willing, right? Um, they went to a nightclub and I got there. I mean, I got there a little late. They're already in. And then they wanted me to wait online. It was like a hundred deep. I was like, I'm not waiting. Uh, but I showed up. You know, and I had a little outfit and everything. Because um, I really want to go dancing. Gay Pride is this weekend. I, you know, I'm doing this before. So, and I just, I really want to go dancing. So, and I'll figure it out. But, um, and then the next day I was invited, but we canceled it because of the rain. It's a rainy season here now. And uh, uh, sometimes it's been quite rainy as compared to last year so far. So it's been starting to rain like at three. Usually it starts at like six. So we were supposed to go to a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, horse race. I, have, I went to one horse race once. I went to Belmont. Um, I don't even know how long ago it was. God, it was like maybe 40 years ago, <laughs> maybe more. Um, but anyway, I was open for it. So it's kind of like, yeah, just, you know, like break free. You know, someone says, uh, you know, they want to do something you've never done before. And it's not, you know, like, crazy then go and do it yeah yeah reclaim your childhood there's an ad on one of the um i don't know what it is it, it's like uh and they show all these like um like retired people like surfing and you know doing all this kind of stuff it's like yeah exactly go you know we have one life to live. You know, I mean, we have a million lives to live, but we have one shot in this lifetime right now. So it's like, go and do what you want to do. You know, want to go hang gliding, go hang gliding. Want to go kite surfing. You want to, uh, I don't know, become a sculptor. You want to, uh, whatever it is, go and do it. Go and do it. Yeah. You're in charge. You're in charge. Who's in charge? You're in charge. <laughs> Yeah.
And you know, sometimes you want to do something odd. You want to do something that people don't do. And it's like, it's okay. It's okay. That's what makes you you. Like I watch a lot of geology videos and uh, like uh, things like that. And, you know, people like, huh? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's interesting to me. So I, I watch it, you know. I really want to go to like a lot of the archaeological sites here. And there are so many. There are so many. And I really want to go. I really want to go. So I'm going to go, you know. If I find like a, you know, like a friend or a partner or somebody to go with me, it's great. And if not, I'll go. I went to um, Centro, which is like the center. And all the buildings are really magnificent. And, you know, because the earthquakes are all like this out of Mexico City. <clears throat> so sometimes you look at a building and it's literally like that. And then, you know, half of it is like here and the other half is here. It's a little bit like that. And they sell everything on the street. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you. And this one market, one market leads to another market, leads to another one, especially in Central. And they're screaming and yelling and they sell underwear and they sell electronics and they sell irons and they sell fruit and they sell, I like it all. all. Flower pots and magic markers. And, uh, and, you know, I know if I'd been with somebody, oh, you know, it's too crowded. Like the deeper and the louder, the deeper I go. Because I, I enjoy it. I, I, I love the abundance of it, the insanity of it. Like, what the hell am I going to find here? And, you know, so that's what I did. All right. Yeah. Self-reliance. Self-reliance is your key. And you're a Leo. You know, you don't have to tell you that. All right. Yeah. Toward your stability and security. Toward making things grow. Right. This is a really nice card. This is really about like, I think what's coming to an end is this, this notion of I have to fit. I, ha I have to, I, I feel like this is happening for a lot of people, like collectively and um, individually. It's like, uh, yeah. everybody says I have an opera voice, but I want to sing jazz. So I'm going to sing jazz, right? Get my hair done, right? Like Peggy Lee. <laughs> and sing jazz. I'm going to dress like a jazz singer all day and all night, every day. Okay. Started to rain again. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm bringing myself in it from out out in the cold because that's what's going to heal me and I'm not going to tell myself I can't do it I'm not going to listen to that voice this is the voice I'm listening to the voice of love of intuition of kindness that's where the opportunities are in the sun nourishing healing abundance joy freedom this was a lovely oh my um so i'm going in order this month I, I used to not go in order and i made this big deal of it now i just go in order because that way it's easy i don't have to remember what comes next oh did i do all the earth did i what, who should i do first in the air and that, like all that it's like i'm just doing it in order and so you're the fifth all right let me show you everything In order to heal, I have to bring myself in from out of the cold and listen to my body and listen to the messages of abundance, of nourishment, of fertility. Any any way I feel stuck is in my is is in my own head. Uh, I know how to be in joy, and I'm taking on my power to be in joy and to heal, to receive the opportunities, to receive the blessing. Anytime I tell myself I can't do it, it's all self-imposed. I, I, I put an end to that. And you are here, Leo, somewhere. I can't see, but there's a lion here. Um, toward making things grow and relying on my own, relying on myself, relying on my own 
sense of autonomy. There's a lot of autonomy in this. It's a really, really, it's the nicest reading I've done so far. All right, I am um, working on getting two cataract operations. I need some funding. The GoFundMe is below. I offer readings, I offer healings. I have meditations available for purchase. I want to put that in the wrong way. And please check out uh, Tarot Tuesdays, check out my new video, and um, recommend me to a friend and get a reading and have a lovely July. And if you're an early Leo, a lovely birthday. And um, and see you soon. In fact, the um, the 21st this month is the full moon. So that'll be right at the cusp of Leo. So that should be interesting. All right. Blessings. Bye. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs>